efficiency, depth, and breadth in life by Xiefeng. Most people should be geniuses in a certain field, but the vast majority spend their lives in mediocrity without any achievements. The reason lies in the pressure of life that prevents them from engaging in work they love, consuming their lives in trivial daily tasks. Our analysis of housewives reveals that few have accomplished much in their careers, drowned in daily household chores. When asking an elderly woman, what have you done in your life, she could hardly list anything she was proud of. In reality, her daily workload was immense, from cooking, laundry, and childcare to shopping, cleaning, and visiting relatives. Countless daily tasks nearly overwhelmed her, only to find her life had been insignificant. I'm not advocating for everyone to become superior beings, nor for everyone to bring glory to their ancestors or live a life of splendor. I simply wish for a more comfortable, carefree, and free life. How can this be achieved? Do only one thing in life. This is a truth I've recently realized. In the past decade, I've only served as a guide for life and existence, doing nothing else. This allowed me to write millions of words and establish numerous picturesque human new life model homes. However, in the past two or three months, I've been doing too much and too diversely, resulting in almost no noteworthy achievements. Daily, I wake up at 5 a.m., browse the internet for half an hour, then rush to prepare breakfast for guests. Even with just two guests, it takes at least two and a half hours, involving over 20 tasks. After guests leave, room cleaning involves everything from washing toilets and basins to changing linens and towels, not to mention carpet cleaning, averaging over two hours of yard maintenance daily. Keeping a 60-acre lawn neat is no small feat, and there's always the phone to answer, trash to take to the dump 10 kilometers away, shopping 30 kilometers away, maintaining restaurant cleanliness, recording income and expenses for taxes, and paying monthly bills like internet, TV, medical insurance, gas, electricity, etc. Aside from these, unexpected tasks arise. I wonder, if I spend a lifetime like this, even if I were a genius in some field, that genius would be buried under endless trivialities. Doing many diverse tasks can broaden the breadth of life but never reach its depth or efficiency. The highest efficiency is achieved by doing one thing consistently, the more diverse the tasks, the lower the efficiency. Last year, I planned to travel at least 300 kilometers away to Prince George City, but I've been unable to achieve this goal. I'm tightly bound to the same place, unable to leave. A donkey with its eyes covered, walking in circles around a millstone, spends its life in circles. Most people live no differently than the donkey. The donkey has no choice but to circle the millstone. Similarly, environmental constraints and life pressures force people to repeat the same work daily, also involuntarily. Who can say, what I do every day is what I like the most? To make life a bit more comfortable, carefree, relaxed, and free, one must only do one thing in their lifetime. Only then can one achieve depth. A drilling rig that changes locations can only drill a few dozen meters each time. To reach a thousand or ten thousand meters, it must drill in the same hole. Focused goals allow for breakthroughs. If working eight hours a day earns one hundred dollars, could one earn the same in just two hours? I believe it's possible. The way is to focus on one thing. The more diverse the tasks, the less money is made. Only by focusing on one task can one be relaxed and comfortable, providing the mental and free time to explore broader fields to expand the breadth of life. The question is, who can do just one thing in their lifetime? Pursuing efficiency, depth, and breadth in life according to traditional production and living models is nearly an unrealistic fantasy for most people. There's only one path to the goal, which is to live in the life oasis model created by Life Achanuan. That's the best place to realize life's ideals. July 16, 2020